Well, hello. How are you? Hello. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi, welcome. Hello, teacher. Right? Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome. Welcome. So we have another day. Yesterday we saw the, let me see. Yesterday we were, we were watching and then we were listening to the possessives, right? The possessives. Now we saw possessive adjectives. We saw possessive pronouns. And we saw the possessive nouns where we talk about, for example, Henry's book, those type of examples where you use the name of the person and you use the apostrophe S to show possession. Now, before we begin, let me see, let me share screen right here. This we saw yesterday, right? We saw the video, but we didn't do the practice, okay? No hicimos la practica. So right now, that is what we are going to do today, okay? We're going to go ahead and do possesses and I have some activities for you. Tengo unas pequeñas actividades, real small, and then you can go and go in breakout rooms in pairs and practice the possessives, adjectives, pronouns, and with names. Now, the, this possessive right here with the apostrophe is, déjame cambiar la cursor. These it's going to be a, just a small activity also where we use the person's name and then we add the apostrophe S. Recuerden que esta estructura no existe en el idioma español. Okay? Si sí existe, pero utilizamos la palabra de. Right? La blusa de Pat. Right? Los jeans de Julie. That's how we use it in Spanish. But in English, we can use the apostrophe. Y el apostrophe prácticamente da el mismo significado de. Okay, so just remember that. unas pequeñas activities that we're going to do. Not, not very long, right? Not tan largas, but just to give you a, a little bit of practice. A little bit of practice. Now, I'm going to... Let me see. I'm going to take the attendance. Hello, Sandra. We missed you yesterday. Hi, teacher. Uh -huh. We missed <laughs> you yesterday, right? <laughs> okay. Well, I'm glad you're here today, right? We're here today. Remember, tomorrow mm -hmm. is the last day. Mañana es el último día para que terminen eh, sección 4 en la plataforma. Okay. Remember that eh, si ustedes cambian o superan la nota y yo observo que la han subido un poco, yo se la modifico, ¿ok? Para aquellos que eh, si están como, oh, ya subió la nota, right? se la puedo modificar siempre y cuando aumente, ¿ok? Aumente. Okay. Right? Right? Si usted lo hace, right? No yo, si usted lo hace. Ustedes, right? <laughs> All right, so if you say como 94, 85, y dice, bueno, voy a, voy a tratar de mejorarla, you can tell me, teacher, si bien que superé mi nota poquito más, and I will check it, and I will modify your grade. Ahí les modifico, okay? So, y let me see. Okay, we're going to do the attendance. And let me begin. Angel Eduardo Ramirez. Present. Thank you. <coughs> Carlos Luis Quiroa. Present, professor. All right, thank you. Cesar Mauricio Morales. Present. Okay, thank you. Uh, Dania Guadalupe Bolaños. Dania Guadalupe Bolaño. Ok, la respuesta. Dania Saraí Martínez. 
Dania Saraí Martínez. Ok, una respuesta. Ok, let me see. Daniel Isaías. Presente. Ok. Ok, Daniel, te voy a mandar un mensaje ahorita, ok. Te, te apagué la cámara. All right, let me see. Diana Verónica Domínguez. Present. Ok, very good. Thank you. Edith Alicia Rico. Edith Alicia Rico de Rodriguez. Ok, thank you. La respuesta. Edith Alicia. ¿No está aquí? ¿No? Ok. Let me see. Erika Alejandra. Present. Thank you. Eh, Ingrid Edelmira Serna. Ingrid Edelmira Serna. Ok. No answer. Jacqueline Vanessa López. Present. All right. Thank you. Okay. Jorge Humberto Cuellar. Okay. No answer. Jose Eulogio Lopez. Present. Thank you. Ligia Esther Estrada. Present. Thank you. Let me see. Luis Eliezer Hernández. Present. Ok, thank you. Luis Gonzalo Alemán. Luis Gonzalo Alemán. Present. Ok, thank you. Marielos Alejandra. Present. Ok, thank you. Melissa. Present. Thank you. Ronald Antonio Luna. Present. All right, thank you. Present. Thank you. Let me see. Sandra Evelyn Vaquero. Present. Thank you. Let me see. Wendy Beatriz Rodriguez. Present. Okay, thank you. Wendy Esmeralda Garcia. Present. Thank you. Okay, let me see. Jennifer Carolina Lemos. Present. Okay, thank you. Jessica Roxana Contreras. Present. Thank you. Zulma Guadalupe Vázquez. Zulma Guadalupe Vázquez. Ok. Una respuesta. Oh, I see you right there. Hello, Zulma. Listen. Listen. All right. All right. Teacher. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Yes. Este, me mencionó, pero perdí la señal. Uh, este. Dania. Dania. Dania Martínez. Saray Martínez Sánchez. Ok. Thank you. Ok. Thank you. Ok. Ya lo cambié. Ok. Let me see. Ok. Let me. Let me share screen. Let me see. Ok. Let me see.
Ok, Daniel, ya te mandé el mensaje ahí. Ok, por favor lo puedes leer. En la Zoom. Aquí en la aplicación de Zoom. All right, let me see. Okay, we're going to talk about. Okay, let's begin. What is today's date? Para empezar, Melissa, what is today's date? Um, today is Wednesday, June second, twenty twenty one. Okay. Okay. Hi, right, Sandra. Pretty good, pretty good. Cerca. Vamos a ver. Let's see. Today, Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Wednesday, June second, twenty twenty one. Okay, very good, very good. Yes. Okay. Let's go back to Melissa. Melissa. Ah, dígame el mes. John. Okay, June. 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 Yes, so oh, very good. Okay. Go Wednesday, ahead. Wednesday, June second, twenty twenty one. Yes, much better, okay. much better. Very good, very good. Yes, all right. Alguien somebody else that would like to try? Anyone else? Today, today is Wednesday, June second, two thousand twenty one. Okay, okay, good try. Yes, all right. Good. Yes, Erica, okay. Very good. Someone else? Any más? Before we begin? Okay, Daniel, can you give us the date, please? Daniel? Daniel? Hola. Okay, can you give us the date, la fecha? Ah, uh, eh... Now, Wednesday, um, Wednesday, uh, uh, of, of, um, March, March, okay, no, per, perdón, perdón, June. The uh, winner of twenty twenty one. Okay. Can you see the screen? Pueden ver la pantalla. Los demás pueden ver mi pantalla. Sí, yes. sí. Okay. Así es el orden como vamos a, a organizar la fecha. Día, mes, número y año. Okay. Wednesday, June second. Y le pongo la ND para que recuerden que no es two. Right. Un número Cardinal es un número ordinal. Second, 2021 or 2021. Ok. So, estén listos para mañana. Listos y listas. Día, mes, número y año. Ok. Esa es la estructura. All right. So, be ready for tomorrow. Be ready for tomorrow. But today is Wednesday, June 2nd, 2021. Ok. June 2nd, 2021. Ok, Daniel, ¿leíste el mensaje que te mandé? Sí, sí, sí. Ok, very Ya estuvo, ya, ya estuvo okay. todo. Ya. O sea, All right, great. Ya, es que tenía que estar pendiente de la, o sea, de la asistencia, entonces, por eso. Ok, nomás eh, recuerda, ok, que cuando sí, despeja sí, sí, sí. la clase. Ok, very good. Ok. Let me see. Ok, I'm going to share with you the the activities that I have for you. Now, do you remember, ¿se acuerdan algo del video que vimos ayer de possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns? O lo quieren ver de nuevo? Or basically, you already know. Possessive adjective. And possessive. Again, teacher. Okay, great. All right, I'm going to put it again. It's corto, it's a short video. Okay, let me see. Okay, one, two, three. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to use possessives. 
in order to describe the long end of things. If you recall the conversation, it's a disaster, which you learned on our previous lesson. You heard how this topic is used. Uh, let me quickly show you that conversation dialogue and I'll point out the possessives in action. For example, if you notice the conversation, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? Is it yours? No, it's not mine. I'm going to go ahead and grade those possesses that I want to emphasize on. In order to understand this topic, it's important that you understand the difference between possessive adjectives and pronouns and how they are used. So I'm going to draw a little chart to illustrate that. As you can see on this chart, if I talk about I, I will use the possessive adjective my and mine. If I talk about you, I will need to use your and yours. If I talk about he, I will need to use his and his. If I talk about she, I will need to use her and hers. If I talk about it, I will need to use its and its. If I talk about we, I will need to use our and ours. If I talk about they, I will need to use their and theirs. The next thing to understand about this topic is when exactly you use my or mine, for example. In order to explain that, I would like for you to look at the example on the screen. These are his socks. These socks are his. We want to keep the same example. So the first rule to learn is you will use possessive adjectives whenever the object is at the end of your sentence. For example, these are his socks. The object is socks. This is your umbrella. The object is umbrella. This is her car. The object is car. And now um, let me point out what I mean by object. Socks. Umbrella. And car. Now, you will use possessive pronouns whenever the object is at the beginning of the sentence or not mentioned at all. Let's work with the same examples to make sure that we don't get lost. These socks are his. This umbrella is mine. This car is hers. It's mine.
the object. I'm going to gray it out. And as you can see, the object is at the beginning, not at the end, as our previous example. The last thing that I would like to explain is how we can use contractions to express possessives. As you can see on the chart, under names, Pat's blouse, Julie's jeans, Rex t-shirt. The apostrophe as means possessive. Whenever we say Pat's blouse, we are saying the blouse of Pat. However, we normally don't express the blouse of Pat. Instead, we use the contraction or the apostrophe S. Now it's your turn to give as many examples as possible. Talk about your possessions and the possessions of your friends, relatives, and coworkers. For example, my car is black. The black car is mine. My uh, wife's dress is blue. The blue dress is hers. My co-workers computer is white. His computer is white. Of your friends, relatives, and co the blue dress is hers. Okay, there you saw possessive adjective, possessive pronouns, and the possessive with with names. Right, this word right here where it says names, it, it also has another terminology. Tiene otro término que se le puede llamar en términos antiguos ingleses eh, Saxon genitive, okay? Por si quieren otro número, otro nombre más específico cuando utilizamos el apostrofe s, eh, se le llama Saxon genitive, okay? Saxon genitive de antiguo inglés, términos antiguos del origen del apostrofe s. Saxon genitive para que tengan otro nombre. Así como le decimos possessive adjective, possessive pronoun, también se le puede llamar apostrophe es Saxon genitive. Ok. Or otra palabra, possessive nouns. Possessive nouns. All right. Pero vamos a enfocarnos en lo principal. Let me see. Remember, les puse Saxon genitive, pero únicamente. Es el nombre alternativo para el apostrophe S, no para los otros, possessive adjective o possessive pronouns, ¿ok? Que quede claro that, that part. Now, um, remember, this is the main, the main focus, ¿ok? Este es el enfoque principal. Possessive adjectives come before the object, vienen antes del objeto. Possessive pronouns vienen después del objeto. All right? They come almost at the end, como decía allí. And I have some activities for you. Let me see. That we are going to, to focus on. Now, I'm going to give you an example. Okay? This is my cell phone. My viene antes del objeto, right? My cell phone. Entonces, si viene antes, es possessive adjective. adjective. Right? Possessive adjective. El my. Ahora, este es mi teléfono. This is my phone or my cell phone. Ahora, ¿cómo voy a utilizar el possessive pronoun? This phone is... Mine. Este teléfono es mío. Miramos la diferencia. Mi teléfono, mío. Al igual que en inglés. My phone, this phone is 
mine. ¿Ok? Ahora, este es el teléfono de Henry. This is Henry's phone. Le ponemos la apostrofe S a nombre. Y ya estoy diciendo este teléfono de. Recuerden que no existe el de en inglés, sino que se pone apostrofe S. Y en español no existe el apostrofe S. Ok, no le ponemos el de y le ponemos una, una tildita con la S y ya decimos, ya, yeah, ya posesión, right? No, right? So, los dos tienen distinguido, pero los dos significan lo mismo. All right? So, I'm saying that in Spanish so you can get a, a 100% understanding of possessives. Ok? Now, ya les di un ejemplo. Now, let's put it into application. Vamos, vamos a aplicarlo. Let me share with you. Okay, I have here possessive adjectives, right here, possessive pronouns, and a little bit of Saxon genitive or the, con el apostrophe S, con nombres, okay? Now, let's look at the possessive adjectives. Aquí están aquí arriba, okay? So no se van a decir, oh, ya se me olvidaron cuáles son, all right? Is there right here? Okay, my, your, his, her, it's our, and their. Now, for practice, the boy likes, primero, likes, first, ¿de quién estamos hablando, ok? El chico. Del el chico. niño, el chico, el muchacho, right? The boy, ok? Es, es, el, es hombre o mujer, o masculino o femenino, what is it? Masculino. Okay. Masculino. So, Masculino. Okay, very Masculino. good. Okay, very good. This is school. All right. So, the boy likes, y luego dice escuela. Sí. Niño le gusta. This is school. This is ¿Cuál sería? Ours is nuestro. Right? This. His. Um, his. His. Porque estamos his. refiriendo al niño. His. A él. His. his. Remember, el his va con he. Ok. El his va con he. ¿A quién nos estamos refiriendo? Ok, let me... Let me go back here. Remember. Ok. Si, si tomaron nota, hubiera sido bien de lo que vimos. Muy poco tiempo nos dio. Ok. <laughs> Vuelvo a poner para... Uh, sí. Let me see. I'm going to write it for you, ok. Remember que esto está en línea y siempre lo pueden ver a todas las horas de, que tengan tiempo. Ah, ok, ok. okay. So, remember, estamos en plataforma virtual. Ok. So, when we talk about he, right, he, his. Ok. Y para ella... Para, for she, ¿cuál es? Her. 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 Very good, very good, excellent. Her. Y para nosotros, we? Our. Our. Our, very good. Y para they? They. Very they. good, very good. Okay. And for it, para ello? It is. It is. Very good. Very good, excellent. So, for I? My. 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 Very good, my. Very good. You? Your. 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 Very good, very good. All right, great. Okay, great. Now, I stand. Okay? There they go. Okay? So now, this is for possessive adjectives, right? This is for possessive adjectives. Okay, for number two, Lisa sees a mother every day. Her mother. Ah, very good. Porque estamos hablando de quién? De Lisa. Lisa. De Lisa. Lisa. Yeah. She, utilizamos el posesivo. Her. 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 Okay, Her. sin S. Her. Okay, great. Excelente. Now, look at this one. Ronald, la puede leer, please? My teacher. My teacher. My teacher bring uh, his 
No, lunch. Lunch to school. Okay, very good. Now, analicemos la oración, please. Vamos a ver. My teachers bring... ¿Qué uh, podría ir aquí? Mis profesores. They. They're. They're, right? Porque estamos hablando de ellos. They're. They. They're. They're. Okay? My teachers bring their lunch to school, right? Mis docentes traen sus uh, almuerzos a la escuela, right? Very good. Very good. Now, um, let me see. What about this one? The next one. Angel. Angel. Yes. The cat eats uh, his food quickly. Very good. It's, right? Porque estamos hablando de un animal, right? Okay. The cat eats its food quickly. Very good. It's, it's excellent. Now, next one. Melissa. Boy, boy, you always wear uniform at school. Okay. You're. Okay, can you do the whole sentence? ¿La puede leer toda completa? Oh, okay. You always wear... Um... Será your... Yes, porque estamos hablando de you. Okay. you. You always wear your uniform at school. Very good, very good. Excellent. Yes, Melissa. Siempre usas tu uniforme a la escuela, right? Siempre te pones el uniforme. Very good. Um, Jessica, I mean, uh, Erica. Okay. Jessica o Erika? Oh, Erica, Erica. Ah, okay, okay. Um, the bird always sleep in... Este, uh, sleeps. Sleeps in... Está hablando bird, bird son aves o pájaros, ¿no? Sí, un pájaro, no. yes, bird, oh, okay. bird. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's. Ok, y luego al final. It's a nest. Very good, excellent, very good. The bird always sleeps in its nest, right? El pájaro siempre duerme en su nido, right? Y como es un pájaro, we use it's, it's, right? Very good. Excellent. Let me see. Bueno, los veo algo preparados, right? Ayer les dije que se irán preparados hoy, right? Para esta actividad. Very good, very good. Excellent, excellent. Right? Veo que le dieron un, un buen repaso, right? Eh, y siempre es bueno que hagan un repaso antes de entrar a la clase sobre el tema. Ok? Para estar más activos. Let me see. Um, now, this is possessive adjectives, right? Ahí estaban, and we just did them. Very good job. Now, we are going to do possessive pronouns. The possessive pronouns. Um, let me erase this. Okay, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Pienso que lo voy a hacer un poquito más grande. ¿Mejor? ¿Es it better? Mejor, teacher. All right, great, great. Miré a varios que estaban acercando a la pantalla. Like, hey, what's going on, right? So, yeah, okay. Estoy observando también, right? So, ahí les ayudé en eso. All right, so I helped you with that. Okay, now... Possessive pronouns. Al igual como los otros, right? Mine, ya sabemos que estamos hablando de nosotros, de I, yours, de you, his, de él, hers, she, ours, nosotros, right? And theirs, de ellos. Now, the difference is, si pueden ver la diferencia, is mine, ya no es my, es mine. Ok, así se, aquí se los pongo escritos también, right? Ay. Ok, your, ya no es your aquí, es yours. Ok, si pueden ver, adjective aquí arriba, pronoun aquí abajo. 
Los dos son posesivos, no. ¿ok? His se queda igual. His, his. Her cambia. Ah. A hers. Right? It changes to hers. Our, it changes to oh. ours. Ours. Their changes to theirs. Theirs. Ok, so la mayoría de, de diferencia nomás es agregarle la S. Right? Except for my y mine. Y his stays the same. Now, normally, el it's no aplica a possessive pronouns. Ok? It's. El it's. Sí, en, varias, en varios lugares lo colocan, pero no se aplica. Right? No se utiliza en possessive pronouns. Nomás en possessive adjectives. Ok? Now, I have some examples here. Let me see. Hoy sí, Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> Number one. Mm, I have a new book. It is mine. Okay, very good. Mine. 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 Very mine. good. Very good, right? Yo tengo un nuevo libro. Es mío, dijo ella. Right? It's mine. <laughs> very good. So we're going to use mine. Mine. Very good. Notice. Viene aquí al final, right? After the object. Now, aquí le tengo una diferencia aquí en número 6, but let's do number 2. Very good, Jessica. Number 2, let me see quién no ha participado. Carlos. Carlos. Okay, I cannot hear you. Okay, Diana. Hola, hola, hola. hola okay, hola. dale. We have new. Okay, she, eh, lo puede leer. She has a. Ah, perdón. She has a new cat. It is hers. Very good. Excellent. It is hers. Porque estamos hers. hablando de ella, right? Hers. It is her. Es de ella, right? Ella tiene no sé si lo pronuncia bien. Yes, you pronounced it great, Carlos. Thank you. Okay, Diana, Veronica. Uh, we have new shoes. Mm -hmm. They are uh, or okay. Shoes. Okay, no matter. Hours. hours, yes, all right. Hours. Okay. Hours. Our shoes. No, no, no va a poner shoes de nuevo. They are okay. hours. Hours. Yes. Okay. okay, Lalo de nuevo. Read it again, please. Hello? Okay. Let me see. Okay, can you read it again, please? We have new shoes. They are old. Okay, pronunciame la S al final. Hours. Quiero oír ese. Hours. Eso, very good, very Hours. good. Very good. Excellent, good job, good job. Number five, um, Sandra. He has a new car. It is uh, his. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Okay. Let me see. Someone. Alguien tenía una mano levantadita también. Pero ya la quitaron. Okay. All right. Edith. Yes. Hi. Right. Can you do the next one? The house is uh, they. La casa es ellos. Mm. No. Is they, theirs. Very good. Remember, aquí están las palabras, los possessives. Okay, theirs. Very good. Can you repeat it again, please? The house is theirs. Excellent. The house is theirs, right? There's this one, esta vamos a elegir, right? Ahí le puse tres opciones. There's possessive pronoun. Si ustedes pueden ver, el objeto viene antes, right? The house, right? There's. Ok, y si lo quiero hacer como possessive adjective, ¿cómo lo voy a escribir? Eh, this 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 house mm -hmm. 
si lo quiero utilizar, ya no possessive pronoun, sino el possessive adjective. Que voy a poner. Ajá. Hello. Sí. Ya les ayudé con le, iniciándolo. Vroom, vroom, right? Ajá. This is is okay. house. Mm, este es casa. Mm, okay. This are. Mm, no, no cambiemos la oración. Está aquí ya la oración. Lo que vamos a hacer es cambiarla a possessive adjective. Es todo. This the house is. Esta oh. es esta casa. Mm, ok. Ok. Cerca, a ver. Está pensando, very good. A house. Ok, una casa, dicen. Ok, a house. Ok. Uh, this, this my house. Pero estamos hablando de ellos. Um, ok. House is there. This, mm. this house is your. No, ya cambiaron el, el your. <laughs> Vamos a utilizar de ellos, ¿ok? Ajá. Uh -huh. What happened? This the host is X. No, el X. No. No, eso es para animales o... o... I know. Ajá, ¿cómo lo vamos a convertir a, a possessive adjective en esa oración? Ya le inicié, this. This is your... No, yo no, van a utilizar el proceso. This de... are the house. This are the <risa> Ok, díganme, si escribieron lo que, yo, lo que yo le puse. Yo puse they. ¿Cuál es el proceso de adjective de they? There's. 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 No. This house is... All right, bye. Primero hay que identificar cuál es. Aquí están. Right? ¿Cuál de estos sería? No lleva S. Lleva S primero. Segundo, el de la S está aquí y es possessive pronoun. Yo quiero possessive adjective. Entonces sería there, right? There. Ahora. ¿Cuál es la regla cuando utilizamos el possessive adjective? Estaba en el video y se lo dije. Va antes del objeto. Eso, Va. very good. Ahora. Antes de... Entonces, si sabemos que viene el antes del objeto, no podemos poner casa y después el posesión. ¿Right? Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿cómo vamos a hacerla? This day the house. Day. Tampoco. No. Vamos a ver. Ok, Marielos. These are their house. No, yo no puse R aquí. No, this. Ok. Uh -huh. Va cerca. Marielos, nomás es de ver la pantalla. Sería it. These are their. Ok, ahora díganme dónde está la palabra R aquí. En esta Tendría que ir is. Ah, very good. Aquí está en la pantalla. Ok. A ver, dale. ¿Quién dijo is? This dijo? is house. No, tampoco. This is their house. Eso. This is their house. Vaya. Ahí está. Y si fuera, eh, y si fuera su casa, y alguien me diga, ¿esta es mi casa? This is my the house. Okay, very good. This is my house. Okay. My house is. His... Ay, aquí estamos viendo. Y aquí es. Esta, esta segunda. This is my house. Es possessive adjective or possessive pronoun? Adjective. 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 Very good. Adjective. Yes. Porque el adjective utilizamos el my. Right? Aquí está. Possessive adjective, my. Ok, my. Very good, very good. Ahora, si yo quiero decir. 
esta casa es de nosotros. Esta casa, vamos a iniciar, les voy a dar con 10. This house is our, ours. Oh. Very good. This house is ours. Oh. Very good. Very good. Esta casa es de nosotros, right? This house is ours, possessive. Ok, ¿qué tipo de posesión es esta? Possessive adjective or possessive pronoun? Pronoun. Eso, very good, very good. Possessive. All right, very good. Now, if I say, ahora quiero que me den esta oración, esta, en possessive adjective, utilizando siempre eh, el mismo sentido de posesión. Ok, nosotros, o nuestra. Uh, this is our house. Ah, ¿quién dijo eso? Who said that? Angel. Angel, all right, Angel, all right. Repeat it, please. This is our house. Very good. This is our house. Very good. Now, class, ¿qué tipo de posesión es esta, la primera? Possessive adjective or possessive adjective? Oh, now. Very good. And then this one? ¿Y esta? Adjective. Eso. Very good. Very good. Yo pienso que ya agarraron esto. Right? I think you already got this. Right? ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Possessive adjective viene antes del objeto. Right? Right? Viene antes del objeto, right? Antes de la casa. Possession. Possessive pronoun viene después del object. Ok. Now. ¿Alguien me puede dar un ejemplo? Con my y mine. José. Puedes eh, agarrar cualquier objeto y muéstralo a la, a la cámara y dinos. Possessive adjective y luego possessive pronoun. Algo que es tuyo. This is my mouse. Ok. Ok. Y ahora el possessive pronoun. This mouse is mine. Excellent. Muy bien. Very good. Very good. Diana. Verónica. Uh, this is my cat. Okay. Uh, this cat is mine. Yes. Oh, very good. Yes. All right. <laughs> Let me see. Marielo, tiene la manita ahí. You have it up. Want to show us something? Marielos, Alejandra. Hello. Okay. Hello. Uh, okay. Can you give us an example? This is my bottle of water. Okay. This is mine. Mm, okay, this is mine. Okay. All right. Very good, very good. Let me see, Anya Mas, anyone else that would like to show on the screen? Let me see. Eligia, no le he escuchado hoy. All right, so, vamos a ver. Participa. Um, this is my ball of Tupperware, and the Tupperware is mine. Okay. <laughs> All right, the Tupperware is mine. Okay. Very good. Very good. All right. Anyone else? Alguien más? Jacqueline. Miro la manita ahí. Jacqueline. Uh, this is my pen. Okay. Uh, this is. Mm. Uh, this is my pen. Okay, lo repitió dos veces. Uh, this pen is mine. Yes, uh, very good, Jacqueline. Great. Okay, Erica, y luego Luis de Melissa. Positive adjective, this is my dictionary. Okay. Uh, possessive pronoun, uh, this dictionary is mine. Very good, very good, Erica, very good. Melissa and Luis. Okay. 
This is my watch and this watch is mine. Okay, very good, very good. Luis. My shirt. Hmm? Uh, this is my, my shirt. Okay. Uh, this shirt is mine. Excellent, very good, very good. Excellent. Okay, now let's look at the next one. Billy, y luego dice, blue car is in the garage. Remember, here we're talking about possessive with names, right? The Saxon genitive. So, como, how would you say this sentence? My blue car is big. Hmm? Yes? Remember, we're talking about the other types of possessive where you put the apostrophe S. Billy's blue car. Very good. Uh huh. Continue. Billy's blue car is in the garage. Very good. Billy's blue car. pueden ver lo demás ahí. Billy's blue car is in, is in the garage. Eh, el carro azul de Billy está en el garaje. Right? Billy's blue car. La possessive está aquí. Yes. Billy's apostrophe S. All right. Yes. What about the next one? Like Mr. Jones. All right. Mr. Jones. All right. Mr. Jones, apostrophe Jones. S, right? Ahora que en someone... Cesar, continue, please. Lea la oración, please. Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones is secretary. Secretary. No, 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 no hay un is aquí, ya estamos, aquí ya, ya cambiamos nomás con apostrophe S, ok, la tercera parte del video, ok, so nomás vas a decir Mr. John's secretary is here, repeat, Mr. John secretary is here, repeat it please, Mr. John secretary is here, all right, very good, Mr. John's secretary is here, ¿Y qué quiere decir eso? Ella es la secretaria. La secretaria de John está ella acá. Es, Very ella good. Es la escuela, ¿no? Right? La secretaria de Mr. John está aquí. Right? O está acá, como dijo Ron. Very good. Very good. Remember, el apostrofe es cuando vamos a dar posesión de algo. All right? Utilizando el nombre de la persona. Okay, Ronald, continue, please. They sell ladies, ladies, mm -hmm. clothes in the store. Okay, ladies. Le ponemos, ladies. ladies. Le ponemos apostrophe S o nomás apostrophe? Mm. Le ponemos así? Only apostrophe. No, no. All right, very good. Only Hola, apostrophe. Apostrophe. Uh, Only uh -huh. apostrophe porque es plural. Mm -hmm. Plural, ok. So, estamos hablando de ropa de mujer. De dama. De mujer. De dama. De dama. Okay. No. Right. Esta es la palabra cuando uno dice ladies en plural, damas o damas. Lady. Lady. Mm -hmm. All right. Así se significa la palabra lady or ladies. Ay, en singular, para que lo sepan, se, se escribe así: lady con y. Lady, esto significa dama. Right? Lady. Y ya como es plural, le quitamos la idea y le ponemos ahí es lady. Ok. Now. So, ahora léelo, Alejandro. Ronald, can you read it, please? Liceo. They sell ladies clothes in the store. Close, close. Clothes in this store. Very good, excelente, right? Aquí venden, ellos venden ropa de damas en esta tienda, right? Very good. Letter D, let me see. Alguien que no ha participado. Wendy. Eh, let me see, Wendy. ¿Cuál well, Wendy? Sí. ¿Cuál de las dos, teacher? Let me see, Beatriz. Wendy, okay. Beatriz. The, okay, the doctors, the doctors, Kids are very nice. Okay, very good. The doctor's kids are very nice. What does that mean? 
significa eso? El doctor, niños. Doctor. El doctor de niños mm. es muy o bueno. Pediatra, ¿no? O sea, Sería okay. como pediatras. Ok. Ok. Mm, cerca. Es muy bueno. Ok. Pero, ¿qué quiere decir ahí en la oración? ¿Alguien? Doctor. Bueno. Estamos haciendo los niños del doctor. Ah, ¿quién dijo? ¿Quién dijo eso? Los niños del doctor, ¿qué? Los niños del doctor son muy buenos. Yes. Who said that? ¿Quién dijo eso? Eh, Diana. All right, very good. Yes, that is correct. Los niños del doctor, right? Doctors, posesión. Doctors kids are very nice. Los niños del doctor are very nice. Ok. Let me see. Ok. Este es un marcador. Ay. Ok. Este es un marcador. Right. ¿De quién es el marcador? ¿De, qué, de quién? Digan nombre. ¿Cómo me llamo yo? Henry. 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 Right. Henry, right? Henry, right? So, si ustedes quieren decir, ese es el marcador de Henry. O sea, cuando decimos ese, vamos a utilizar, voy a ayudarles con that. All right? That. Mira la pantalla. That. Así van a empezar. All right? That, ese es, that is, y ustedes van a complementar lo demás. That Henry is, Market. Ok, repeat it, Vanessa. That is Henry's Market. Very good. Teacher, pero también podríamos decir bien solo that Henry's Market. También, si lo quiere contractar. Contractar, va. Ok, yes. ok. No hay ningún problema. Sí. Ok, yes. All right. No cambia el significado. Very good, Sandra. For any that very good, Melissa. That is Henry's marker. Okay, that is Henry's marker. So very good practice, very good practice. And remember, tomorrow we will finish the unit. Mañana es climate. Pueden ver los videos ya para estar un poquito más uh, up to date for tomorrow. I'm going to take the final attendance. Ok, good practice, ok. Eh, les di un poquito más allá de lo que miraron en la, en el, en el, en la plataforma. So, very good, very good job. Very good. Okay, great, great. Now, eh, Ángel Eduardo Ramírez. Present. Ok. Carlos Luis Quiroa. Present. Ok. César Mauricio Morales. Present. Okay. Eh, Dania Guadalupe Bolaños. Okay. Dania Saraí Martínez. Okay, Daniel Isaías. Daniel Isaías. Está presente. 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 Right, right, presente. Let me see. Diana Verónica. Present. Thank you. Edith Alicia Rico. Present. Ok. Déjenme cambiar eso. All right. Erika Alejandra. Present. Thank you. Ingrid Edelmira Serna. Ok. No answer. Jacqueline Vanessa. Present. Thank you. Jorge Cuellar. Ok, let me see. José Eulogio López. Present. Ok. Ligia Esther. Present. Ok, thank you. Let me see. Luis Eliaser. Present. Thank you. Luis Gonzalo. Present. Thank you. Marielos Alejandra. Present. 
Melissa? Present. Okay. Ronald? Present. Thank you. Sandra? Present. Okay. Wendy? Wendy Beatriz Rodriguez? Present. Okay. Wendy Esmeralda Garcia? Wendy Esmeralda Garcia? No está? Okay. No hay respuesta. Um, Jennifer Carolina Lemos? Present. Okay, thank you. Jessica Roxana Contreras? Present. Okay. Zulma Guadalupe Vasquez? Present, teacher. Okay, great. All right, let's see. Teacher. Hey, I'm hello. present. Ah. El micrófono me está fallando. Okay, let me see. Wendy Esmeralda, right? Yes. Okay, okay, no problem. Ya lo corregí. Okay? All right. Now. Gracias. Yeah, okay, no problem. We, déjeme tomar captura de las. Okay. Now. Well, class, good practice, okay? Good practice today, and I hope you practice a little bit more. And um, si quieren el archivo que le enseñé, con gusto se los mando, right? If you want to see it for better practice, I can send it to you. Uh, let me see. All you have to do is ask me, okay? Si alguien lo quiere, eh, me lo puede mandar a pedir, con gusto se lo mando. Por favor. All right, great. Sí. Oh, se lo mando al grupo ahorita, mejor. Sí, okay. please, sí, al grupo, please. Okay. All right, great, great. All right. All right. Okay, class, I see you tomorrow. I hope you watch the video. So we're going to be ready para terminar todo mañana. Okay? We're going to do the next okay. activities. So I see you tomorrow. Take care. Thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.